Good morning, class. Everybody take your seats, please. Settle down. So today we're, we're going to be talking about the dark web and the onion router. The dark web is a series of websites that you can only access via a very specific URL and using a very specific browser. And there's really only two ways in. One is you already know the way, or number two, you hack your way in. Think of it like this. The part that you see and interact with every day is the part that sticks up above the water. However, there exists an entirely different website lurking below the water, and that's the dark web. It's things that, that aren't immediately visible from the surface. So why would anyone want to use this dark web anyway? Well, if you don't know it's there, if you can't see it, it's a great place to hide things. It's a great place to put things that you don't want anybody to know about. There are things like private email accounts, all kinds of leaked data, and online shopping. Now, this isn't shopping like you're used to at Amazon or iTunes. Here you buy things like narcotics, like weapons, even body parts. And listen, because this is a place where you put information you don't want anybody to know about, it's a place that could get you in a lot of trouble. brought you in here today to tell you about a secret project we've been working on for the past few years. Why does this concern me? Because you're in charge of global communications, and more importantly, the web. You're the only one here with the knowledge of the dark web deep enough to help us with this secret project. We need you to place a piece of our classified military technology on the dark web, where our customer will be able to purchase it when the time comes. So you want me to build an online store? Precisely. And why on the dark web? Can't they just call us or something? Because they don't have the means of communication other than the web where our customer is located. They confirm their purchase online, set up a pickup date, and we provide them with the product. No more questions. Just do your job. I need it by Wednesday. I'll go.
A professional video camera for only $300? to pick it up? I don't know why they can't just ship it, but I guess this one didn't work. You want to see me, sir? Yes, please come in. Have you finished making the website product page? Yes, just like you asked. And I made sure I disguised it like a camera, so no one will know what it is. Great. Thank you for your hard work. It means a lot to this company. Sir, do you have a minute? Yeah, come in. What are we gonna do for you? Remember that secret project we've been working on? Yeah, the one of with the classified technology? Of course. I just met with the web developer. She said everything's great, ready to publish. Well, I just received word from headquarters that there's already an order in for the product. What? But no one's supposed to purchase it until next week. Well, that's why I came to you, to see if you knew what was happening. I can guarantee you it wasn't them. It must be a mistake, or... Do you really think so? Could somebody tr be trying to gain access to our classified technology? Accidents don't happen. This was purchased intentionally. It's, in, it's a matter of national security. Set up a pickup. Call the armed forces. We're gonna catch this person. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Get out of here. Please meet at the Chestnut Park this Monday at 4 p.m. Bring the payment and come along. Are you Gabriella? Yeah, are, are you the one from... Uh... Yeah, yeah, you got the money? Sure, it's all right here. Great, here you go, kid. The package has been delivered. You're clear to make your move. FBI, don't move. We got a runner. We got a runner. Get on the ground. What's happening? I was I I just saw, I was just saw your camera. Get on the ground. You're under arrest for purchasing classified technology. Gabriella, right? All right, let's just cut to the chase. We've reason to believe that you've been trying to intercept classified technology. Technology for a project that no one knows about. Who are you working for? What? I'm not working for anybody. I was just buying a camera. On the dark web? Who does that? I don't know. I was just looking around and I saw the camera. Yeah.
All right, Bill, so she's not talking. What do you think we should do? Well, is it too early for the... Mm. Really? Should we go that far? Really? I don't know anything. I was just trying to buy a camera. That's all I know. So what do you think? Could she just be an innocent kid trying to buy a camera? Who goes to the dark web just to buy a camera? That's what I was thinking. Get with my team and run some analysis on this kid. We'll get some more info. See what she's all about. Thanks, Bill. Gabrielle. Hey, Deb. Hey, boss. What can I do for you? Well, we've got something a little different. A kid was caught finding classified technology on the dark web. Huh. That's unusual. Yep. I was wondering if you could run a background on this kid. Find out who she is and who she's working for. Sure, I'll get right on it. Get back to you as soon as possible. Well, you did some digging into your past. You don't have any ties to rival countries. So does this mean I'm free to go? No. What do you mean, no? You were able to access a website that was intended for one person and one person only. You have a real talent for hacking and finding loopholes. Okay. You're in college, right? Yes. Is this your last year? Yeah. How would you like to work here? Be part of our web security team. Wait, you arrest me this morning and now you're offering me a job? I know it's a little unorthodox and a little weird, but it could be a great opportunity for you. Think about it. I don't know. I, I guess I'll think about it. That's good. Think about it. Here's my card. Call me when you're ready. Plus, I know where you live. It's what we do. I've considered your offer. Let's do this.